Today on Capitol Hill, Congressman Matt Gates of Florida showed his whole ass when he was questioning Pentagon Secretary uh, Lloyd Austin. Folks, uh, if you want to see uh, Stuck on Stupid and what today's Republican Party looks like, watch this fool. Secretary Austin, why should American taxpayers fund lectures at the National Defense University that promote socialism as a strategy to combat China? It's, uh, it's the National Defense University is an academic insti uh, uh, institution, and I don't know of any, uh, of any such lecture. But, well, that's uh, surprising yeah. because it was widely reported. The National Defense University had Thomas Piketty come, and this was the title of his lecture, Responding to China, the Case for Global Justice and Democratic Socialism. So now that you know that they did this, would you agree that embracing socialism is not an effective strategy to combat China? Well, I, I certainly don't uh, agree with embracing socialism. I so, think so that uh, means I'm sorry. We're not going to do this. We're not going to let the guy say four words and still talk and then cut him off. Well, We're just not. I control the time, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, but you also have to be fair to the witnesses. No, but I got the answer I wanted. I have a follow up. My, my follow up question is, is if if we don't embrace it, then I guess why did the National Defense University put out a statement? Again, this is funded by U.S. taxpayers saying in this talk, Mr. Piketty will argue that the right answer lies in ending Western arrogance and promoting a new emancipatory and egalitarian horizon on a global scale, a new form of democratic and participatory ecological and post-colonial socialism. So why would we invite people we don't agree with to evangelize views and values that we don't share at the National Defense University when we should be learning strategy about how to combat our enemies and make assessments that are accurate. And we do uh, uh, learn a lot about strategy and about, uh, about the military and about uh, joint force development. Uh, and so that is our focus in these, uh, uh, in these uh, institutions. I don't know what the, what the context of this particular uh, or content of this particular well, well, speech Mr. Se was, Mr. But, Secretary, so I've, I've shared with you the context. The context wasn't better understand socialism so we can defeat it. The context wasn't learn about it so that we can offer countermeasures. The concept was that it's time for socialism. And the reason I know that's the context is because the lecture was pulled from a book written by Thomas Piketty, entitled Time for Socialism. And, and I just can't help but, like, notice... And so your you guys question been, was whether no, or not we... I control the time. Your, your question you guys was have been blowing a lot of calls socialism. lately on the matters of no. strategy, Mr. Secretary. You guys told us that Russia couldn't lose. You told us that the Taliban couldn't immediately win. And so I guess I'm wondering, what in the $773 billion that you're requesting today is going to help you make assessments that are accurate in the face of so many blown calls? You, you've, you've seen what's in our budget. You've seen how the budget matches the strategy. And so I'll let that speak for itself. Well, I mean, it, I've also seen that we're behind, Mr. Secretary. We're behind in hypersonics. We failed to deter Russia. Last year, China so what do you, what do you, more what do you mean we're behind in hypersonics? How, how do you... How okay, do you, who do you, who's ahead in hypersonics? How, how do you... How do you, how do you how do you make that assessment? I don't know. How, is, may, is I make that assessment one, because is China is yielding hypersonic weapon systems and we are still developing them. Are I make that assessment because Russia actually uses one. Development of By the way, your own people brief us that we are behind and that China is winning. Are, are you aware of the briefings we get on hypersonics? I am certainly aware of briefings that we provide to, to Congress. But it, it's not just the hypersonic. It's all over the world. It's in Taiwan, where China last year flew more sorties than ever before. It's North Korea on pace to shatter prior records, the number of missiles that they, that they are testing. And so while everyone else in the world seems to be developing capabilities and being more strategic, we got time to embrace critical race theory at West Point, to embrace socialism at the National Defense University, to do mandatory pronoun training. Do you it's, assess... You know, it's, it's, again, this is the most capable, the most combat credible force in the world. It has been, and it will be so uh, going forward. Not if this we continue down this path. To do that. Not if we embrace socialism. The, the fact that you're embarrassed by your by your country. By oh no no no! I'm embarrassed by I'm, your leadership. I'm sorry for I am that. not embarrassed for my country. I wish it's we were not losing saying. to China. It's I what wish you're we saying. Were, you know what? The that's you know that is so that, that is so disgraceful that you would sit here and conflate your failures with the failures of the uniformed service members. You guys said that. 
that Russia would overrun Ukraine in 36 days. You said that the Taliban would be kept at bay for months. You totally blew those calls. And maybe we would be better at them if the National Defense University actually worked a little more on strategy and a little less on wokeism. Has it occurred to you that Russia has not overrun Ukraine because of what we've done? And our allies have done. But that was have, baked have into your flawed assessment. That? that was baked into your flawed assessment. And so yeah, I saw that the Obama administration the, the that tried to Ukraine destroy our military by starving it of resources. And it seems the Biden administration is trying to destroy our military by force feeding it wokeism. I yield back. Folks, that whole display shows you uh, how much of an ass a Matt Gates is. All right, folks, back to our Roadmark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, Black Star Network is this. A real um, revolutionary right now. Black power. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roller. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?